Hey everyone, this is Kevin, your failed journalist, and today's story is going to be an interesting one. Have you ever looked back at your wedding and thought, huh, I wonder how I let that happen? Well, there is a story involving a bride, her sister, and her autistic son who is going to be the ring bearer for the wedding. There's just one little problem. The kid wants to wear a Spider-Man costume and it's causing conflict with the family. Now, before we begin this video, if you happen to enjoy this vi video and you happen to like content like this, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We talk about pop culture news, movie theater life, whatever floats my boat. So anyway, uh, this story showed up on Cafe Mom and it has an attention grabbing headline. Bride bans seven year old nephew with autism from wearing from wedding over wearing a Spider-Man costume. It's obviously very clickbaity and it's written in a way to make you feel super mad about the topic at hand. Yet when you read this story and you understand the situation, you find out this is not so much a rage bait inducing article so much as it is a very complicated situation that really needs to be discussed and thought about. Now the reason I came across this article is because I was admittingly looking up Bridezilla stories. I have just passed the one year anniversary of my wedding, which basically means I have spent the first year of my married life successfully convincing my wife not to murder me while I sleep. So that is a bit of an accomplishment and if I can keep that up for the next 40 to 50 years, we'll probably be good. But here's the thing, I was looking up Bridezilla and kind of feeling pretty good about how our wedding went. We talk about our wedding with rose tinted sunglasses, I will admit, because, you know, obviously COVID-19, we're all locked in. We're super happy that we did the wedding when we did so that we could have family over and have the wedding we wanted to. But the more I talk about the wedding, the more I realize, you know, there really was only two problems at the wedding. I won't say what those were, because I know family and friends watch this, but there were only two issues at the wedding, and really, they weren't problems so much as they were minor annoyances. And I have commented over and over reading these Bridezilla and Groomzilla stories, seeing how bad some of these weddings really got, how egos and expectations just flared up beyond control, how family member fights just completely ruined what was supposed to be very, very positive days, you know, I consider myself very blessed that we had such a wonderful wedding and really there were just a couple little hiccups in the mix. But I saw this this headline and knew I wanted to read this story and I was expecting something a lot more dramatic to be perfectly honest and it wasn't. This is not as dramatic as the headline would make it sound to be. So here's the situation because I actually read this article a couple times and now I have it pretty much memorized. So the bride decides that she wants her autistic nephew to be a ring bearer. And of course, her sister and brother-in-law are thrilled at the proposal. And they're preparing this boy to be a ring bearer. There's just one little hiccup that happens a few weeks before the wedding actually starts. The boy has gotten into a Spider-Man costume. And he loves the Spider-Man costume so much, he does not want to get out of it. Ever. In fact, whenever you try to make him take off the Spider-Man costume, he throws a fit. Obviously, they get it off of him long enough to clean it once in a while, but otherwise, he's wearing it all the time. And this has obviously created a dilemma. So, sister and brother-in-law tells the bride that her nephew is going to be um, doing the ring bear thing with a Spider-Man costume because to take it off him, he would do nothing but throw a hissy fit. And understandably that might create a bigger problem at the wedding than him wearing a Spider-Man costume. Now here's of course where it gets complicated. The bride isn't necessarily happy about this arrangement or this proposal. She is paying a decent amount of money for her wedding. Not an exorbitant amount of money, but enough to have some certain standards in place. She's also paying a photographer a lot of money to get these really fancy photos. And she does not like the idea of Spider-Man 
being in the photos. Now at this point, sister and brother-in-law accuse the bride of being a bridezilla and basically saying, well, we can't take the costume off of him because he'll throw a fit. So here's the thing. Either he's going to be do carrying the rings dressed as Spider-Man or none of us will be going to the wedding. This is a tough one. <laughs> this is an extremely tough situation. Now, you might be wondering, okay, who's sharing this story? Clearly, it's got to be the sister or the brother-in-law because they're the ones who are upset. You would actually be incorrect in that assessment, or that assumption, I should say. Actually, the reason this story has come to light and what made it headline news for a site like Cafe Mom is that the bride actually volunteered this information and volunteered in a way because she is conflicted about this situation. See, she does not want her relationship with her sister and brother-in-law to be forever damaged because of this Spider-Man issue. And actually, the first thing she, she suggested was, well, maybe your son can then have a babysitter take care of him, and we will find someone else to be the ring bearer. That actually sounds like a perfectly good compromise to me. Sister and brother-in-law are saying, no, it's all of us, Spider-Man and all, or no one. So she shared this story wondering, is she being a hard-headed bridezilla? She's like, look, am I being a bridezilla for this? I mean, here's the thing. I don't, I don't not love my nephew. I love my nephew. That's why I asked him to be the ring bearer in the first place. And I also love my sister and my brother-in-law. However, it is my wedding. I don't want Spider-Man walking down the aisle. Interesting, though that might be. And I am paying a decent amount of money. I had these pictures in mind. Spider-Man would definitely throw what I had in mind off. So I, I, I'm just like, look, my nephew can either come dress in tuxedo, and if he can't do that, why don't you get a babysitter? And it's, it'd be a shame, but then the wedding can go on. So the reason we know about the story is because she's sharing it with the world and trying to get advice. And as you can predictably uh, assume, the responses have been very, very mixed. First of all, some people are calling her a bridezilla, saying and pointing out that the nephew has autism. And this is one of the reasons why I decided to comment on this story, because I do have a certain insight onto this. As someone who is technically on the spectrum, not technically, I am on the spectrum, I just control it very, very well from what people tell me. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Maybe you guys think differently. And I do understand being attached to certain things. I have shirts that are more than 20, year, 20 years old because I can't bear to part with them. I have probably a minor hoarding problem because I never want to get rid of anything. When I pick something up, like, you know, it's just like every, like if I pick up a movie or a toy, like, like for example, just uh, this ty doll i have no use for this doll no practical reason to own it anymore but i remember this was a gift from someone at church who gave it to me as a birthday gift because she knew i collected beanie babies at the time now i have since gotten rid of a lot of my beanie babies but i kept this one because it has sentimental value when you have autism things you get an emotional attachment to things that's very hard to explain. I imagine Marie Kondo would probably pull her hair out if she was trying to convince me to organize my life because she encourages, you know, if it has no sentimental value, get rid of it. But most of the things I have do have sentimental value. And 
for this young boy with autism, this Spider-Man costume has become something he's hugely attached to, and he is comforted by wearing it. Now, from the sounds of things, he also is much higher on the spectrum than I am, and having known people who are much higher on the spectrum, it is hard to explain exactly how difficult that can be for the parent. It is... It is hard to tell a kid with autism, severe autism, no under any circumstance. They just don't comprehend certain things. And I know this because I am told to do certain things sometimes in family events that I internally start resisting, even though I know why they're asking me to do to do it. There was a situation at my brother's wedding where I, every event I go to, I wear my Club 33 pin on my lapel. And my brother said no, he didn't want that because it would, because it would be something different. He wanted all the groomsmen to look exactly the same. And even though I knew why he was saying this, I fought him and fought him on this until my sister-in-law came in and basically told Victor, it wasn't a big deal. In fact, the girls were all wearing different pieces of jewelry, so a little individuality wouldn't hurt. That's a little different from a Spider-Man costume, but you get you get what I'm saying. So if I have a hard time with that, then a seven-year-old who's high on the spectrum would definitely have a problem with that. And there's two and there's a few ways you can really look at this. The bride could just say, "Ah, to heck with it." Spider-Man's in my wedding. It's going to make for a very interesting conversation starter when we look at the photos. But then here's the thing. Brides especially have very certain expectations for their weddings. They can't always be met, but most of the time they can reasonably be met. Like, to add, you've heard some crazy stories where... Um, the bride asks, like, everyone to wear, like, a different color suit because she wants to do, like, a certain dance or something. Or she wants to play Ride a Horse, uh, a Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy every other song and gets mad at people when they get annoyed at that. Those are pretty unreasonable. Not having Spider-Man at the wedding seems like a pretty reasonable request. And she is paying for the wedding. And she wants her photos to look a certain way. So she su calmly suggests... Can you get a babysitter for my nephew? And at that point, sister and brother-in-law say no. Now, in my opinion, this is actually being pretty unreasonable. Because sister and brother-in-law must... Uh, oh, by the way, I left something out. I did leave something out. She did not object to her nephew wearing Spider-Man during the re reception, just during the wedding itself, he needs to wear a tuxedo. Should Probably should mention that. So, anyway. So, I, so then I kind of lean towards sister and brother-in-law are being unreasonable for saying it's all or nothing, but then they're the parents of an autistic son who is probably misunderstood by the world way more than he should be. By now, people should know what autism is and have a general concept of what it means. But a lot of people don't, and a lot of people still treat kids with autism like secondhand citizens. So I understand that frustration. Maybe them being protective, they're like, no, 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 you will not exclude our son from this. You will accept this because this is who he is. And I actually think it's pretty noble that the bride, even though she's paying for it and she has the idea of what she wants the pictures to be like, is actually looking for solutions. One person actually asked her in the comments of this story here if, you know, Spider-Man could wear the tuxedo over the Spider-Man costume, which would be, well, the problem with that is that Spider-Man's the mask. So, but that's not a terrible place to, to go. I wonder if, like, maybe the next thing... That could be on the list is, well, would you see, like, would the nephew be okay with wearing a t tuxedo over the Spider-Man costume, but without the mask? 
maybe that's a compromise that can be made. I don't know. I, I don't know their son. But it's a tough situation. It really is. Because what you have is a bride who has definitely had a wrench thrown into what her vision for her wedding is. And unlike most things, this seems on the surface like something that could be dealt with. But on the other hand, you do have a sister and brother-in-law who are probably very protective of their son, and for good reason. I'm not saying they shouldn't be. And maybe they might be being protective to a fault. I'm wondering if maybe the solution is either see if the nephew can wear the Spider-Man suit without the mask but have the tuxedo over it. I mean, it might be a little noticeable, but it won't be as noticeable. Maybe the solution would be there's a babysitter just for the wedding, and during the reception, the nephew can be part of the reception. And honestly, the, ne the nephew might find the wedding itself, you know, itself kind of boring. Or maybe, depending on how much she wants to avoid a conflict with her sister and brother-in-law, maybe the bride just says, okay, Spider-Man's part of my wedding. He's going to be in some of my pictures. And I'm just going to have to accept that. I don't know exactly what the solution is to this one. The good news is, it seems like the bride is at the very least willing to discuss the problem. And maybe she and her sister can meet halfway somewhere. But I just thought this was very interesting. Looking at, reading it as someone who has autism himself understands exactly what the problem is and wondering like oh, there's there's got to be there has got to be a solution to this there, there just has to be and then being pretty thankful like that this wasn't an issue at uh my wedding again the issues at my wedding were relatively minor in comparison but i would like to know though what do all of you think? Do you think there's a solution in here that I am missing, that she might be missing too? I would like to know. I'm also going to link to the article below so that you can read it and kind of see where everything is at right now. Um, but I'd like to know what you think. So comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.